Each of the cells that you see before you, the AAA, the AA, the C, and the D, all put out 1.5 volts of potential difference. Each of these cells is a combination of different metals and different electrolytes inside the cell. The only really good cell that you see here is the alkaline cell. The rest of them are heavy-duty cells which are not known for their longevity. When you take cells and combine them, you get a battery. You can combine them in series or in parallel, and what you see here are a 6-volt battery, the big one, and 9-volt battery, which is a small one. Here are a couple of 9 volts disassembled. There are 6 cells, 1.5 volts each, all connected in series. Each of them is 1.5 volts. 6 times 1.5 gives you a total of 9 volts. The 6-volt lantern battery is just a combination of 4 big D cells, all connected in series. 4 times 1.5 volts each gives you 6 volts. So all these batteries and cells are pretty much exactly the same thing. You take cells and put them together to make batteries of various voltages. The laptop battery is another example of a combination of cells. This one is labeled as lithium ion, so it does have different metals and different electrolytes inside it. You can tell by the external shape that it is a series of cells that are cylindrical and all combined. Each lithium ion cell in a phone puts out about 3.7 volts. And if you combine three of those together in series, you get 11.1 volts. And that 11.1 volts is the rated voltage on the laptop battery. Tucked away in the corner of an engine compartment is the automobile battery. This battery is a lead acid battery, sulfuric acid and lead plates. And there are a total of six cells at two volts each. A motorcycle battery is the same thing but smaller doesn't need as much energy to crank the motor, so it's just physically smaller than the car battery, but still 12 volts. This work truck also runs on the same 12 volt lead acid battery. Same thing with the ambulance and with the bobcats. All of these vehicles, motorcycle, the minivan, the little car, the ambulance, the truck, all of them run on 12 volt batteries. All those batteries are six lead acid cells at 2 volts each. All you have to do is take some cells of different sizes, combine them in series or in parallel to make a battery. Maybe you want to change the electrolyte, use different materials, so you get a lithium ion battery with a different voltage and an extended life. Maybe you want something that's a small device, so you take a lithium ion battery, make it small. But from the little 9 volt batteries all the way up to the big truck batteries. It's all exactly the same idea. Remember, every vehicle you see out there, 12 volts. Six cells in series at 2 volts each. Some of those cars out there are electric cars or hybrid cars. And the batteries in them are just a big series combination of lithium ion cells or nickel metal hydride cells. Just like my camera that runs on two AA nickel metal hydride cells.